Okay, so this is how you use the Pinterest artboard template. Um, there are 10 pin, pins in here already set up. All you have to do is drag and drop your pictures and uh, change the fonts. I have a list of fonts available um, in the, in the uh, purchase listing. So if you don't have those, these fonts that I, whatever fonts that I end up using or the fonts that are in the template, you can always download them. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all free fonts. So um, I'm going to show you the easy way to do this. So I am going to create some pins that for something that I need. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm going to make this smaller. And I'm just going to put um, my the photos that I'm using right next to Photoshop. I'm not sure if I some I know some computers you can snap it, but um literally what's happening here? You can drag and drop your photos. Where did it go? I went all the way to the back. So I'm gonna pull it back up here. Now So your photos are going to, um, when you drag and drop them, <clears throat> they are going to go to the top layer. And what you want to do is drag them all the way to the bottom layer. And you can resize them as you're um, dropping them in. After I get my images in, I am going to show you how to very quickly change the wording. Now that one dropped in the same artboard, so I'm just going to drag it into the one that I want it in. If you drag the first one where it's supposed to go behind the uh, squares, then the next ones you put in there should also be behind. Now with this one, you notice there's a little bit of a uh, some extra there, and I'm gonna select the marquee tool. Just drag it over there. You're going to have to rasterize this layer because you need to get part of that out of there. The templates are fully editable. Um, 
you can just go in and you can change the colors and change the fonts and add elements. <clears throat> so now that I have all of my images in, I can expand and get started uh, changing the name. So I'm going to come back over here. And to come back to this one where I need to be, I'm going to click on that. But this is the easiest way to change everything at one time. Most of us are making pins for the exact same post at the exact same time. And um, so all the wording is gonna be the same each time, basically, at least for me it is. So you're gonna go up here to edit, find and replace. So I'm replacing 15 air fryer to I'm changing it to Cricut or Cry Cut Baby. And then you're going to go to Change All. Let it work. And uh, I spelled it wrong, so we're going to do it again. I don't know how I spelled Baba, but I did. So. Yeah, everything changed. It still says Baba. And then I'm going to do it again. Find and replace. I'm replacing recipes with mile. So now what I have left is going in and adjusting my text to make it fit. And at this point, you can also change your fonts if you want. You can change it whenever you want, but. Like this, I want lowercase. And I got to fix the line height over here. And then I'm going to change the color. And the way I have it set up is 
um, all you have to do is click on the color overlay and make it whatever color you want it to be. And I want it to be somewhere close to this purple. Or a purple. Now the ones that are like grids, I'm going to add a stroke to this so that it can be seen better. But the ones that are grids, that have the grids, well, you can change the color of the boxes and grids and rectangles and all of that. So I'm going to change this to the same purple. That one looks pretty good. I'm just going to leave it. I think I'm going to take and brighten this picture.
All right, now that everything is edited, here's how you save it. You go to File, Export As, and Export As. I don't want to save these as a PNG, so I'm going to save them as a JPEG. And I have to go through the very first time that you use this template. You're going to have to go through and change them. No, you won't. I'll make sure that uh, you don't have to save them as a JPEG. I mean, as a PNG. I believe the artboard should just default to that setting. So once you've done that, you gotta export all and find the folder or wherever you want them saved. I think this is my folder. And they're saved and that's it. That's how you use artboards and my template to uh, make quick pins.